In 1952, in a place called Carta Monastery in Romania, two nuns are walking down a dark hallway towards a door that says, God ends here. One of the nuns, who is older, goes through the door to find something special. The other nun's sister Victoria, starts praying. The older nun comes out injured and tells Victoria to run. There is a scary demon nun named Valak who is chasing her. Victoria prays for forgiveness and then jumps out the window, taking her own life. Later, a man named Frenchie discovers her body. The Vatican, which is a special place for Catholics, learns about Victoria's suicide, which is considered very wrong in their religion. They ask Father Anthony Burke to investigate what happened. He asks Sister Irene, who teaches girls, to assist him. They find Frenchie and go to the location where Victoria died. They see Victoria's body in a cold storage room, but she is sitting up even though she was lying down before. They find a key in her hand. They decide to give her a proper burial. On their way back, they notice fresh blood on the steps. They meet the abbess, who says they cannot discuss Victoria yet, but they can return the next day. Burke and Irene go back to their rooms, while Frenchie leaves. As he walks past the dark woods, Frenchie sees someone who looks like Victoria walking there. He decides to follow her, but then a scary demon nun attacks him. Frenchie spots a cross on the ground and takes it with him for protection. Irene shares with Burke some strange things she experienced when she was a child. Every time, she heard the words, Mary points the way. Burke remembers a time in France, when he was called to assist a boy named Daniel, who was possessed by a demon. Despite Burke's efforts to help, Daniel was badly hurt and died. Burke feels a deep sense of guilt about what happened. Later that night, Burke hears music and goes outside. He sees what appears to be a demonic version of Daniel. The vision pushes Burke into a coffin, and he is buried alive, with a bell to ring for help. Irene wakes up, and sees Valak, the demon nun, trying to harm her in the mirror. She quickly runs outside and hears Burke ringing the bell. More bells begin to ring as well, but Irene locates Burke's coffin and starts digging him out. Demon hands try to hinder her, but she manages to free Burke. Inside the coffin, they discover books about frightening things like demons. The following day, Burke and Irene go to the abbey, but only Irene is allowed to enter. Inside, she meets Sister Ona, who explains that the nuns take turns praying to keep evil away. Ona learns about Irene's encounter with Valak and shares the demon's story. A long time ago, during a dark period known as the Dark Ages, a powerful duke tried to bring Valak from hell. However, brave men intervened and prevented Valak from fully entering our world. They trapped him using a special object containing Jesus' blood. Valak remained in hell until World War II bombs broke the seal, allowing him to escape. Ona explains that Valak disguises itself as a nun to deceive others and exploit their vulnerabilities. In the meantime, Burke discovers information about Valak's name through his research. Frenchie finds himself in a tavern where he overhears a sad story about a 12-year-old girl who took her own life. It is said that she witnessed something terrible beforehand. Frenchie shares his visit to the abbey with Burke and Irene with the bartender. The bartender warns Frenchie that they might be in danger. Burke attempts once again to enter the abbey but encounters the abbess once more. She informs him that he won't find another way inside. Burke inquires about the key he found with Victoria, but the abbess states that it is too late and Irene is lost. Suddenly, the abbess appears to collapse. Despite the abbess's demonic form attacking him, Burke manages to break free and tries to see her face. Irene wakes up feeling scared after having another frightening vision of Valak. She walks outside her room and Valak attacks her once again. Burke hears the commotion and tries to help, but Valak also attacks him. Fortunately, Frenchie arrives with a shotgun and scares Valak away. Irene finds the other nuns and prays with them while an evil force carves a symbol on her back. Irene sees what appears to be Ona's lifeless body, but she realizes it's just a trick. Ona and the other nuns were not real, they were only illusions. The three friends reunite and understand that Victoria didn't attempt to end her own life. Instead, she sacrificed herself to prevent Valak from taking over her body and causing more harm. They venture into the catacombs to find the object containing Jesus' blood. Irene realizes that the phrase Mary points the way means they should follow a statue of Mary. Using Victoria's key, 
they discover the vial with the blood. Valak returns and attacks them. He tries to possess Irene while Burke fights a demon. Irene becomes partially possessed, but Frenchie throws some blood on her, freeing her from Valak's grip. Valak then tries to harm Frenchie and attempts to drown Irene. However, Irene spits the blood on Valak's face, sending him back to hell and closing the portal. As they leave the abbey, Irene asks Frenchie for his real name, and he reveals that it's Maurice. We see an upside-down cross burned into the back of Morris's neck. The movie concludes with a scene from the first Conjuring movie, where Carolyn Perron is watching Ed and Lorraine Warren discuss Maurice, who became possessed and later took his own life. Lorraine experienced visions because of him, and sadly, it wasn't the last time she encountered Valak.